Hey guys, I need to be able to walk from the basement of my home to the main floor and then to the upper floors into the bedrooms and around the perimeter of the outside of my home with a strong Wi-Fi signal. I'll need multiple access points due to the large square footage of my home and I want my portable devices to have the strongest connection at all times. In fact, I want it to be seamless as I move from one access point to the next. I don't want any delays, I don't want any switching of networks and I only want one network password. So you guessed it, today we're going to be unboxing and configuring these two Ubiquiti Networks UAP AC Pro-E access points for wireless network access. My current internet modem has a network Wi-Fi router built in, which is pretty typical these days. This device is located here in my basement. It's in the corner between concrete walls and a metal furnace with ductwork all around. So my Wi-Fi signal is obviously going to suffer, but I don't want to remove my router from this current location. So before we get things set up, let's do a baseline speed test of how well my network is performing, and then we'll try to get afterwards once we get these installed. I'll use my Surface Pro for this test and some LAN speed testing software. I'm not testing the internet speed here as it fluctuates too much and will not be a valid representation of my connectivity to my LAN, but rather to the internet. This is just the E version of the Pro access point and therefore you will not find a PoE power injector or power supply inside the box. There is also no ethernet cables which is why I have my own right here. I'll be using the same PoE switch to power the devices that I use for my IP security cameras, which is an 802.3AF device, which is like this one right here. If you need a power injector, make sure you order the model, which includes it. Also, note that if you purchase the light or the long range versions of the access points, you will have a PoE injector included and it will not work with a PoE switch. So here you have the device itself. Pop it open, piece of foam on top, has a very nice silky feel to it and by the looks of it there is a ceiling or wall plate already installed on the back. This thing here you can flick up to access it and you see there's a little hole right here in the side. You'll have to use that once the ceiling plate gets mounted if you want to remove it from the wall or ceiling. And then that just rotates and that comes off. Here you have a piece of rubber that's covering the ports. And right here you have the main gigabit connection, which is marked main. And you have a secondary port in case you want to carry on the line to another device. And right here you have a metal ceiling backplate, which is used in case you have a drop ceiling or tiles to which you want to attach the device. And the tile gets sandwiched in between the backplate and the access point. These longer screws are used to go through the ceiling tile if you're using the metal plate. And the shorter screws are used if you're using the wall or ceiling plastic plate. And lastly, you have a quick start guide. This does not cover the Unify system configuration software. It's just the basics on the physical install. Documentation on the controller software can be found on the download page for the Unify software. And I'll add that link to my blog. Speaking of my blog, I'll add a link in the description below to newfieboard.com and I'll have product links where I picked up the access point. I searched around, the best price I found was on Amazon. I'll also include a link to where you can get a PoE switch. These two access points will be hardwired to my network, but you could actually just plug one of the access points into your network and extend your network to the other one wirelessly. The performance isn't as good that way because your connection will have to go through the access point then to the other access point to get to the hard wire. So let's have a look at a few more specs while I'm opening up the other box. The access points allow you to roam from 2.4 gigahertz to 5 gigahertz, depending on the signal strength. There is no need to set up two SSIDs. It uses 3x3 11AC MIMO technology, which means it sends and receives data in three streams, or 802.11AC, which is the networking Wi-Fi standard. That is a good thing. These access points can be used inside or outside, but keep in mind that the lowest operating temperature is 10 degrees Celsius or 11 degrees Fahrenheit. These access points have a feature called fast roaming, which allows the user to move seamlessly from one access point to another. It replaces the old zero handoff and it is automatically on by default. It may slow your maximum speeds a little, but for me it's worth it. Let's plug these into the PoE switch and install the controller software. 
I'm not going to do a full review of the controller software. That would take way too much time. I'm just going to show you what you need to do to get these up and running. Let's get the software downloaded from the Ubiquiti site. First of all, find your model, download, and install. Let's burn through this pretty quickly. When you launch the software, you'll first of all be asked for your location and time zone. Then the access points will show in the list, and I'll select both for configuration. Give your network a name or an SSID. Add yourself as a controller administrator with a username and password. I'll skip this part here where I can run the software from the cloud. Using the credentials I just set up, log into the controller. Go to the device page to update the firmware. Simply click on the upgrade buttons and wait a minute. Next we'll do a few config changes. I'm updating the channel from the 2G radios to 6 and 11 and the 5G radios will be on 36 and 40. This is to prevent overlapping channels. I'm also updating the transmit power from auto to 14 and 20 for each device. I might have to tweak these later to get the perfect results. I'm also going to turn off meshing as each access point will be wired. To save, queue the changes and apply. Let's jump onto these access points with my phone. You'll see me get added as a client onto the access point. Well done Ubiquity for keeping it easy. Before installing these permanently, I'm going to test them out in the area where I want to install them. One on the upper floor and then one down here in the basement. So let's test the speed again. Let's see what the improvements are. So now that I have the two access points up and running, there's no need to be broadcasting a Wi-Fi signal from my old router. I've always been a huge fan of the Ubiquiti products right from my very first Pico station. They've made the user interface much more friendlier since then without removing the advanced features. I'm quite impressed with the LAN speed of this new setup and I'm impressed that I'm able to roam from one access point to another totally seamlessly. If you found this video helpful, please like it and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching.